Bowlers need to bowl at batters and batters need to face bowlers. You know, that's what we do for a living. Um, so you need to do both. And this tent gives us the perfect opportunity to do just that. Uh, we get great practice, you know, and so the lads are excited. It's also the real indicator that the season's close. And it's the closest thing we can get, really, to obviously when we're going to play some competitive practice games in, in about a month's time. Well, Pete, I think we heard you saying to uh, Ben Compton earlier, welcome to the grass, as one sort of shot thrown in. What have the players been able to gain today in this first day in the tent? Well, they get to play on realistic conditions. We play indoors, obviously. We do some brilliant work indoors, but to actually get on grass, it's different surface, a bit slower, uh, it'll move a bit more. The bowlers are always happy when we get on grass. Uh, and it's the closest thing we can get, really, to obviously when we're going to play some competitive practice games in, in about a month's time. What are those particular things that the players will be focusing on in these, these first few days and weeks in the tent? Well, the length the bowlers bowl. So you tend to be fuller in a tent on grass. You're, you know, you're trying to get up on the bat, up around the knee roll, attack the outside edge. Uh, and the batters are learning to let the ball come in and deciding what shots they can play when the ball moves around a bit more. So we use a juke ball, it will seem, it will swing, and you've got to be able to get through the new part of that ball and be able to build it in, which is, this gives us great practice to do it on. Have you noticed a change in mentality in the group today coming in here? Well, it's a great buzz. I mean, like, whichever way you perm an indoor school, it's still an indoor school. So you're inside, you get outside. I mean, as soon as you come in here, uh, the way the tent's set up, anybody can see it. You can see it's all um, perspex, so you can get natural light in. Uh, we get great practice, you know, and so the lads are excited. It's also the real indicator that the season's close. Uh, timed it pretty well at the moment because we've had some decent weather for the last couple of days as well. How did um, the group cope with the, the sort of last few weeks we've had when it's been a bit more one-to-one -one and maybe not the pre-season you might have normally planned for them? Well, we, we decided to try and see, could we use it as a positive? Could we use it as something that would work in our favour? So, and I think we did actually, because what, what happens when you coach, one-to-one -one training is fantastic. Um, because you get really specific work for that player. Uh, they get a, um, they've got their slot, they come in, they work exactly on what they want to work on. So we decided to make that a real focus that players could really start to target key areas of their game, which we did for the last, well, probably for the last month or so. Uh, but now is the time to start to move it together a bit more. We're on to stage two, which um, for anybody watching, we have different sort of, Covid rules, uh, and that gives us a little bit more scope. But as we move closer to the season, you know we play as a team, so we've got to start to find ways of building that team unity. So we're ready to play when we come against Durham in, you know, on the eighth, April the eighth. I think I read something about uh, some of the people involved with the England Test setup talking about their players being a lot fitter this year, maybe because of the way they were able to sort of train through lockdown in a different way to normal. Do you think, do you think the Knotts group seem any different at this stage as to where they might have been in seasons gone by? I think we saw it last year. I think what was really nice, lads went and were, were sort of stuck at home. Um, and we always want players to take their own responsibility to be, you know, independent blokes really. Uh, and they took it on board and lads had to train themselves, which they did, and like often, People, they don't surprise you, but it, you know, left your own devices, you get stuck in and do the work. So I think it was a great message for everybody that, you know, give players the right amount of space to go and do their own work. Our lads are fit, they work really hard this winter. We use our own strength and conditioning trainers and whatever, sometimes for really specific work. But the attitude and approach is absolutely got to come from the player, that they know they've got to be fit and strong because we play a tough season. It's a long season and now, some of those players will also go away and play in the 100 at times, so there's a lot of cricket to get through and we need fit players on the park all the way through. And with that season starting with a block of red ball cricket, is that the kind of thing that maybe takes some precedence in these early bits of preparation? Well, four day cricket is a, is a massive increase in volume and that's partly what this does for us. This allows us to start to gradually increase the volume on the bowlers. So they started off this week, they'll bowl one spell a day probably. By next week, they'll be up to two spells, and that'll increase, and the intensity will increase as we go through, um, because they need to do that to, to be protected from injury and also bowling fit. You know, we hear a lot of people say, "Well, what you go to the gym for?" Well, you need to do both. You need to go to the gym sometimes to get fit, but you also need to bowl. You know, bowlers need to bowl at batters, and batters need to face bowlers. You know, that's what we do for a living. Um, so you need to do both, and this tent gives us the perfect opportunity to do just that.